What's up Schwartz Force? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are unboxing a new watch. This is from Marchand Watch Company. This is a British micro brand. Now I gotta give credit where credit is due. Adrian over at the Somewhere in Time YouTube channel, which I'm linking up here, as well as down in the description, he did a review on one of the Marchand driver, the classic driver watch, and he kind of turned me on to this brand, and I looked into him, and I'm like, man, they got some kind of like vintage racing or motor racing inspired watches. It talks a little bit on the website about the kind of Swiss heritage behind the brand, uh, the owner, things like that. So really cool. And I figured like since Adrian got the classic driver, I didn't want to review the same watch, so I opted for the classic driver chronograph and they even have a new model that's coming out this thing looks sick uh, i think in april of this year so in a couple months it's going to release and i'll put a link so you guys can go check them out it's not an affiliate link or anything like that but we will take a look at this watch here together today and please let me know what you think of it in the comments and of course i'll do a full review in the future but for now let's get into the unboxing Alright guys, yoga hands, they're black, they're back, and they're ready to attack. The unboxing that is. So here we have the outer sleeve. Um, looks like we have Marchand Watch Company there. Pretty cool. It's just in a simple, kind of a thicker cardboard type of box. Um, and here is the, looks like the international warranty card. Nice little silver kind of foil. Um, so we are looking at, oh, let's see, 24 months, so two year warranty. Don't make sure we hang on to that. And then let's take a look at, all right, here we go. So we got a little desiccant, don't eat that. And then here we have the watch and the extra strap and a instruction manual. Okay, so we're gonna skip that for now. And that's pretty good, pretty basic. Um, unboxing and then let's go ahead and take a look at the watch now I did opt for the tan kind of racing strap I think they even have a bracelet option and then of course this is the black with red I don't know if you can see the red coming through there we'll get up close here in a second but this I think that it pops really well with that brown just kind of a vintage look to it so let's go ahead and get up close now all right, let's go ahead and take the sticker off of the front of the dial. And then we'll also take the sticker off of the back. And then we'll just, while we're on the back, let's go ahead and take a look. We see Marchand Watch Company. I love that they have this kind of finishing line design to it with their logo and then this checkered flag design as well. And this is slightly etched into the case back. And we see driver collection, 100 meters water resistance. That's great considering we have this chronograph with pushers to have that peace of mind with 100 meters water resistance. And you can see the case and case back is all stainless steel and then British design. And while we're back here, you also notice that it is a screw down case back as well. Now let's go ahead and start with some measurements as we always do. So this watch has a case diameter of 42 millimeters. The lug to lug height is coming in right at 49 millimeters, a little bit larger. And then we have a case thickness of 12 millimeters. Lug width is 22 millimeters. This particular strap does taper down to 20 millimeters as well. So just something to keep in mind if you were going to swap out the strap and want to use the same buckle, this is a 20 millimeter Tang buckle and you can see the Marchand logo there on the buckle as well. We have a floating leather keeper and then a fixed leather keeper that is stitched in the back. This leather feels pretty nice. Pretty substantial. I like that you can see these aren't just perforated holes, but you do see that black leather detail behind it. And then the actual holes of the strap. And I think this is going to age and patina well over time, kind of has that natural leather color. So it'll be nice to see. And then I really do like that white contrast stitching as well. Just keeps it that racing vintage vibe going throughout the whole strap. And I think ties in well with this watch also. Even though the case is 42 millimeters, the crystal portion is only 35 millimeters, so I think it's gonna wear pretty good on most wrists. Um, of course, for my guys out there with bigger wrists, 
this is something that you're going to enjoy, especially with that cushion case design. I feel like it's just going to wear a little bit better on our larger wrist friends and myself. I hope I can pull it off on my seven inch wrist. We'll get to that here in a second. But one thing, of course, that really drew me to this watch was the case shape and design. Kind of, it's not an homage watch that I'm aware of, but it kind of reminds me of the Tag Heuer Monza and it has that cushion chronograph racing style look to it. Just really knocked it out of the park with this one. So I love that we see the chunky kind of case design. And I love that we have a combination of finishing. So as you can see on the sides of the case, it is this nice brushed finish. These pushers are also brushed and the crown is unsigned, but it does have that nice coin edge to it. Very easy to actuate and grip. And we see in the back, of course, also brushed. And then the way that the case bezel is all done in high polish, I think it pops really well. And then of course, brushed on the front portion of the bezel. So I love that combination of brushed and polished on the side, subtle, but gives that nice pop of shine as well. Now the website does say this is a sapphire coated or hardened mineral glass. I'll do the full test on that, of course, on the full review, but let's just look at the design. I love this tachymeter going along the outer chapter ring, but it's not on the bezel. So I like that they separated that. And then we see that inner chapter ring has our split seconds. And then of course, running second hand. This is the chronograph. So pusher A is going to start and stop the second hand. If we hit pusher B, that's of course going to reset both the running second for the chronograph and then our counter up to one hour on this left or nine o'clock sub dial. I kind of like this design, really cool uh, concentric circles. But if you notice the sub dial on the right, which is our running 24 hour counter, has the concentric circles with that red needle hand, but even though the sub dial on the left is the same size because of those minute indices, it actually looks staggered or slightly smaller. I think it's kind of cool. And then of course the way that the red lines on the inside of that has it split in thirds with 20 second intervals is really cool. And then of course we see the Marchand logo on the dial. Now this is a black sunburst dial playing with the light there. And then we see these baton shaped minute and hour hands with loom applied. And then we see the stick indices along that inner chapter ring, also loom applied. So Marchand branding at 12 o'clock. Then we see indication of 100 meters water resistance and chronograph just above six o'clock. And there is also a date complication at six o'clock as well. So I got my extra strap here. Let's go ahead and put this on the wrist and take a quick look. Okay guys, so here we have the watch on my seven inch wrist and I gotta say, <laughs> I hit this with my polishing cloth and look at this thing just in the light. And this is just studio light. So obviously outside in the daytime, I think this is going to look just even better. So my bigger wrist guys are gonna love this watch. You can see it's right at, you know, fitting just within my wrist size. And look at all these extra positions I have on this longer strap. So if you have a seven and a half, eight inch wrist, you're gonna have plenty of options as far as the strap the length. So that's just something I did want to point out as well. If you have a smaller wrist and you decide to go for this watch, I'm on the last buckle hole here. So just something to be aware of. You might want to actually swap out the strap with something that might be shorter. Now, I don't know if Marchand has short straps. So that's something I'll have to look into and I'll update on the full review, but just something I wanted to point out here on the unboxing. Let's go ahead and switch it to the black and red strap and see which one you guys like better. All right, and here we have it on the black and red racing strap. Man, I gotta be honest, I think because of the black and red with the dial, I think the, I'm leaning towards the black and red strap as well. I think it just, I don't know, it, it's maybe downplayed because there's not as much contrast, but I think it ties in well with the dial. So let me know which one is your favorite, guys, black and red strap or the tan and black racing strap. Love to hear your opinion as always, but I don't wanna give away too much on the watch. I'll save that for the full review. We'll do the loom shot. We'll test everything out. And after having it on the wrist for a little bit, I'll give you my thoughts. But so far, I'm pretty impressed with the overall just quality and feel of the watch. Um, and we'll get into the price. We'll talk about all that in the full review as well. So definitely check out the Marshan website. Um, like I said, they got that new Chronograph Driver Mark II uh, version coming out. Um, just very soon here, right around the corner. And again, thanks Adrian for putting this brand on my radar. I'm looking forward to the full review. So if you haven't joined the Schwartz Force yet, tap my face down here, become part of the Schwartz Force family. And if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. 
And of course, check out this video for more. I think you'll really enjoy it. But as always, may the shorts be with you and I'll see you guys at the next one. Take care.